And I'm with the cast of the new VH1 show, You're Cut Off, and Laura Barron, who plays the coach, the life expert here. I actually don't even play her. I you am her. You am. <laughs> I always say it is a reality no, show, so okay. there's no playing here. It's yeah. real life. No, I'm a life coach in real life, and as a matter of fact, that was what was so great about the synergy between VH1 and myself is that they came to me with a really wonderful idea of transforming these women and gave me a lot of free reign to put them in a program. All right, so tell people what the show's all about. So we take nine spoiled young women, fair, right? And we put them in a house, have them live together, and I conduct a program to take them from spoiled princesses to strong, independent women. And in how many months? Two months? In eight weeks. Eight in two weeks. Months. Yeah. All right, two months. And we. Have I didn't do the math. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was like, whoa. That how, so like how do you do that? That's a pretty big challenge. It was a big challenge. You know, first of all, I had a really generous group of girls who were willing to share themselves and really invest in the program. Mm -hmm. And without that, I could have done no work on them. You know, I mean, our core competency was really getting them outside of the material self and getting them to be more independent, to have more compassion, to do volunteer work and ask themselves, what is the life outside of me and what is the life outside of Prada? So, <laughs> I mean, all right, so when you hear a casting like this, what makes you want to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm what you're looking for? Well, actually, they didn't tell us that um, it was going to be cha a life-changing show. They just said they were looking for girls with extravagant lifestyles to come out to L.A. and shop and party and have fun for eight weeks. So I was like, yeah, I need a vacation from law school. <laughs> Why not? And so uh, what was it like then when the reality struck? Well, uh, we find out that instead of the show called The Good Life that we think that we're going on, it's now called You're Cut Off. And one by one, all of our parents and, and benefactors come up and tell us that they are completely cutting us off financially and completely cutting us off from the world, so to speak. It was like an intervention of sorts. It was. You know, we call it princess rehab. And I think, and, and really it's because what happened was these families really saw the error of their own ways yeah. to be able to say we're enabling our children to be, to be dependent. All right, so you were being cut off. For, let, tell people, share what lifestyle were each of you having that you needed to be cut off that badly. Let's start with you. Um, my lifestyle I never thought was anything yeah. to okay. make a big deal over. I mean, I just, you know, I didn't work. I wasn't forced to work. I had full access of my parents' credit card. They pay for everything, my clothes, my shopping, my car, all expenses, vacations, and that was pretty much the way I grew up living. I grew up living, uh, you know, in a big house with nice cars. I drive a Mercedes. That That's what my first car was when I was 16. Um, my parents have just supported me my entire life and pretty much given me whatever I wanted um, as far as shopping and jewelry and shoes and bags and same thing, vacations. I've never cooked. I've never cleaned. So being cut off from all of those things and having to cook and clean myself was kind of frightening. Wow. Yeah, basically just never really hearing the word no, being able to do whatever I wanted whenever, and not really having any limits. So what was it like in that house with nine of you? It was uh, a lot of drama, of course. You know, it's it inevitable. Is a, it is a reality <laughs> show. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you become close with certain people, and you have certain people that you're not close with. So it was, it was fun at times when you made the best out of it, and at other times it was, uh, it was very difficult. After the first shock that when you know, it all set in that you're here being cut off, what happens after that? I cry a you lot. All, you all were just crying? <laughs> you all <laughs> broke down? No, I'm not she a, cried. <laughs> I was mad. Yeah, so I was what did you mad. do? Did you all want to like leave? Obviously you couldn't because you had signed contracts. We could have like... left if we wanted to, but I think um, we all just thought of it as a challenge and we mm -hmm. felt like, well, our parents have given us a lot and this is something that they want for us to do. So out of respect for them, we're going to do it. Exactly. So now what did you guys have to do then? Well, we had, we had a series of challenges that we had to partake in, such as, um, you know, learning how to clean, learning how to cook, giving back, you know, going to a homeless shelter, going camping and having to, you know, 
build a fire and learn how to do things that clearly we never had to do before. It was it was really just learning how to become independent because I think all of us were just so dependent on our parents and and family members and we really have just never learned how to do any normal activities and normal things that everyone across the country partakes in. Why is a show like this important for people to watch and people to see besides the entertainment factor? Well, yeah, <laughs> you know, and if I may, even when the girls were given, when I was giving them chores and those things mm -hmm. to do, the importance of the show and the importance of the transformation of the girls is the emotional piece of it is that these girls were using material goods as a distraction so they didn't have to deal with the truth of their emotions. Well, a lot of people, though, you could say uh, generations are dealing with this right now. Without and a lot of question, kids. Without question. You know, I get really supportive feedback, and you girls should know. I get amazing feedback from the show. And I just got a letter from a 16-year-old girl who said, I come from a split family. I would love to have had the lifestyle that these girls have. But in watching the show and realizing that these girls have issues too, I think I'm okay with what I have, you know? And I, yeah, and I think it's an opportunity for parents to see what the results can be when they give their children too much. I think it's an opportunity for this generation to see that maybe following a Paris Hilton type figure is not necessarily an emotional role model. And the best lesson I hope we all learn from it is that there are strong, independent women inside all of us mm -hmm. that you can dress them up in whatever you want, but without the shoes, without the bags, you can still remain dignified and as a woman without needing all of those things. I agree. All right, well, thank you so much for being here, all you ladies. And of course, you can check out the new VH1 show, You're Cut Off. What night is it at? It's Wednesday night, VH1, and it's 9 o'clock Eastern Pacific time. All right, there you go. You're Cut Off. Check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.